Hello friends, I'm so happy that you stopped by. Today's video is all about deep cleaning the refrigerator. I'm sure most of us have this chore on our New Year's cleaning to-do list, and if you're one of those people who really needs to clean your refrigerator, then just keep watching so that I can motivate you to clean your fridge and then you can get it checked off your to-do list. Okay guys, I watched a few videos and took some notes regarding the easiest and most simple way to clean out well no really no simple way but the best way to clean out your refrigerator and it looks like i'm going to start with my door first do this area first and then start going over to the produce sections and things like that so we're going to start cleaning out this door getting it organized throwing away anything that's expired and getting it good and clean and then we'll move on to the inside of the refrigerator oh say a prayer for me guys it's pretty bad Guys, I've got everything out of the door. Let me see if I can show y'all. Yuck, look how dirty. No telling how long it's been since we've actually, well, I can tell you. It's probably been since April, since we've actually deep cleaned this refrigerator uh, right after COVID hit. But let me see if I can get you some dirty spots. Goodness. So hopefully this will be a good and satisfying clean for you all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut the door and so that it'll stay cool in here and then wipe off and throw away any condiments or anything that was in the door that we don't need to put back in. Okay guys, so here's pretty much everything that was in the door. Now there were some things that weren't supposed to be in the door, but like cheese and my whipping cream and things like that. But what I'm going to do now is just take the time to go through, see if anything expired, throw it away if it has, or maybe combine anything that I've got two of and clean the door out and then put everything back in the door and we'll have that section done. So I'm going to put my old lady glasses on, so what my daughter calls them, and so I can try to read this fine print on these condiments and then we'll go through them and then we'll put them back, whatever I, don't, whatever I have left, we'll put back in the door. Okay, so let's get to doing that. All right, so here I'm just going to squirt down the door really well with some all-purpose cleaner that I get from Grove Collaborative. We'll wipe it down really well, and then I'll go back and dry it off before I put everything back in the door.
Okay, I'm not sure if you can see it very well, but I'm trying to get like that inside little lip right there. Usually that is really, really dirty. I'm having to get on my tiptoes. But it doesn't look that bad, so I'm just going to really try to get in there and get that cleaned also. Okay, what a difference, guys. There's the after shot. Now I'm going to wait a little bit. I'm going to shut this door and wait a little bit, let this kind of cool off again, and then put everything back in the door. And then we'll start, I guess I'll start from the produce and go up. We've had a leak in the um, our ice maker. So we noticed there's water down here, y'all. So we got to get that fixed. And when I pull that out, I'm sure it's going to be just full of water. So that's going to be quite fun to clean. Guys, just a shot. This is what I'm having to work with today. <laughs> she, <laughs> she likes the spot. I have, she has knocked over this lot several times today. So this is what I'm working with right here. Just wanted to show you guys a sneak peek. The struggle is real when you have fur babies. I wanted to let you know real quickly, you could probably already tell, but I filmed this video back in the fall. My channel will be a year old in March, and I'm still not monetized yet, which just means my channel has not reached a 1,000 subscribers, nor have I got a 4,000 watch hours yet. So I'm going to try to step it up and possibly every other week do two videos instead of one. I will continue to post every Thursday morning. However, I'm going to try to sneak in a quick video, also an extra video for you guys every other week. So be looking forward to that. Guys, I had to film this just real quickly. 
Why we need so much sliced cheese is beyond me, but I think we have enough cheese. What do you guys think? Okay, I've got everything out of the refrigerator, so let me see so if I can get you some dirty shots here. Camera just doesn't pick up in, like it would in real life. I just hate that, so you can't really tell how dirty this refrigerator is, but it's pretty dirty. Okay, so let's get into wiping it out, sanitizing it, drawing it off, and getting everything back in here. Okay, now just a sneak peek on how dirty my kitchen is. It's the only thing about cleaning out stuff, decluttering, all that good stuff, is it turns into a disaster. But the after effects will be great. Okay, nice, clean, and sanitized. So let's go sorting through everything that was in there and getting just the necessities put back in. Okay guys, we're finally done. It took me about two and a half hours to get the refrigerator completely cleaned out and everything put back in, but gosh, it was so worth it. So I'm so excited for Derek to get home and see that I've cleaned the refrigerator. So let me show you the results. The final reveal is just great. I'm having to walk over Drake, sorry. How, my husband is going to be so excited when he gets home today. Yay! So that we can go grocery shopping and of course, fill this back up, but no organization in here, you know, condiments in the door, drinks in the bottom. I really don't have much room on these two shelves, especially this one. And that one doesn't have much height. So all of my stuff has to belong there to the left. And there's a lot of that stuff I wish was able to fit on another shelf, but it doesn't. So that side of the refrigerator just fills up so quickly. But anyway, it's clean, it's sanitized, and it has some room for some new food to come in when we go grocery shopping this weekend. So anyway, I hope you guys, this encourages you somehow to get in there and clean your refrigerator. Of course, I didn't touch the freezer. We'll work on that next time. But it is a good feeling once it's over with. It is a hard job, but it is so worth it. Thanks, guys. See you in the next video. Bye.